Kapag tama ang paraan ng pagsasaka, ito ay nagbibigay yaman at kalusugan. Ang focus ko is really sa health ng tao. That's why we enrich the soil. The richer the soil, the plants will get the most nutrients from the soil. Then when we eat the vegetables, talagang fully packed yung mga nutrients na doon sa vegetables. Gusto ko, organiko. Organic farming sa Benguet. I started organic farming from zero knowledge. I grew up in Manila. Nasa ano ako, nasa garment industry ako. We were printing t-shirts. Yung mga, mga paints na ginahandle namin, medyo very toxic din eh. And then, during that time, I was really very unhealthy. I started to look into alternative medicine, mga herbal. So, nakaroon ng interest. I, I, I do a lot of research, do, join seminars. Dahil sa interest niya sa kalusugan, pinag-aralan ni Felix Tan ang pagtatanim ng mga masustansyang pagkain. I started year 2006. Ang focus kasi ng itong farm is for mga anti-cancer healing ano, vegetable. I have that name, Garden of Life, because it's focused on life ng lahat. What I promote is raw food diet. When you say raw food, you do not cook your food. No? Whenever you cook your food, 40 degrees centigrade up, it's considered as a dead food. I'm not saying that uh, there's no longer the vitamins, minerals, and the uh, medicinal properties. Meron pa nandyan, but there is no more enzyme. And enzymes, they are life. So the cancer patient, they need badly the enzyme. Sabi nga nila, only life can beget life. Death cannot beget life. So if you're eating dead food, like mga cooked food, then wala na enzyme. But If you're eating uh, raw food, then that is uh, a living food. Mas mainam kung di nilalapatan ng synthetic fertilizers at pesticides ang halaman upang mapangalagaan ang beneficial microorganisms. Ang mga ito ang nagpuproseso ng organikong material upang maging sustansya para sa tanim. Right now, we are growing 1,500 square meters ang area na ginagro ng, ng ano, mga vegetables. The land area is 1.7 hectare. So there are still a lot of land area for expansion. We have three workers. All around actually sila. They gather the weeds and do the composting. And one is uh, in charge of the nursery. And all of them help in also in the production and the transplanting. We also grow spinach here. And spinach is very full of nutrients. But the problem with spinach is if you cook it, it will produce oxalates. And the oxalates will hinder the absorption of calcium. So the best way to eat the spinach is in a raw form. You eat it fresh. Then Another crop we grow is the cilantro. It's actually an herb. The cilantro is a good chelator. No? Nag-remove siya ng mga heavy metals. So if you have problem with mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, no? uh, usually mga cancer patient kasi ang problem nila heavy metal toxicity. Bukod sa mga masusustansyang gulay at culinary herbs, na ginagamit sa paghanda at pagluto ng pagkain, matatagpuan din sa Garden of Life ang medicinal herbs. This crop is called Dora in the local dialect. The scientific name is Ruta. This herb is also very good for the liver. If you have problem with cirrhosis, cancer of the liver, uh, hepatitis, uh, fatty liver, lupus, this herb is very good for you and also good for colon cancer. There was a case, I have a client who kept on buying a certain herb from me called Serpentina. It's a bitter herb. And then she bought a lot and I was wondering, what? Yun pala, uh, she said she has a cyst on her breast. And after taking the Serpentina, uh, the cyst uh, was reduced. One of the special crops that we grow here is the wheat grass. The wheat grass is considered as a super food. It's a super detoxifier. It means that it can cleanse, no? Pangalawa, it's very alkaline. 
the cancer cells, they thrive in an acidic condition. When you alkalinize your body by taking in wheat grass, you know, uh, it makes the environment indeed conducive for the cancer to grow. And then thirdly, it is a superfood, as they call it, a complete food. You know? If you are a vegetarian, you'll be lacking one kind of vitamin, that is uh, B12. You know? But in wheatgrass, you can find B12 in wheatgrass. Ang vitamin B12 ay byproduct ng microorganisms na matatagpuan sa wheatgrass. Bukod sa vitamin B12, ang wheatgrass ay nagtataglay rin ng iba't ibang bitamina, mineral at amino acids. Very tough yung cellulose fiber ng grass but the nutrients there is super rich. Just imagine the cow. How can the cow grow that big? Where does he get its protein? You know, the protein of the grass can go as high as 40%. The meat that we're eating, like for example, you eat fish, chicken, or pork, the protein of the meat is just around 20%. But the grass can go as high as 40%. 40%. So we can see how, how the cow could grow that big. And as a planting, what we do is we soak the seeds for 6 hours. We put it in a net. So that mag drain yung tubig and then just hang it up and every 8 hours you will just wet it again. After the next day you will see there are roots coming out already. Yan, pwede mo nang itanim na siya. Just broadcast it. When you harvest it, you should harvest it at the time na tawag namin jointing stage before the ovum of the plant will go up and it will start to flower. When it flower, all the nutrients will go to the flower. Then eventually it will go to the grain. This is where the wheat grass will reach its maximum peak of nutrients. And that stage is around mga 25 to 30 days. And if you plant in tray, you can never reach that jointing stage because of the shallowness of the soil. Ang wheat grass ay ginagawang kapsula o kaya ay tableta. Pero mas maraming binipisyo kung iinumin bilang juice. They need a special juicer. The ogre type juicer. This is a slow juicer. Kapag umikot siya, it's a squeezing effect. You need that kind of juicer. While the others, they don't have a juicer, you can also chew it like, like a cow. <laughs> but just sit in the juice and then you spit it out. Uh, wag mo lang iswalo kasi yung cellulose fiber niya, very tough, mahihirapan yung digestion mo. Uh, or they use a mortal and pestle, pero matrabaho talaga. At the start, you can start with two ounces a day. You can go as high as eight. There's no overdose. I see it's a food. But for cancer patients, they need to consume at least eight ounces. The more, the better. It's a super detoxifier. The first time they try it, they have this feeling of dizziness, nausea. No? Kasi yung toxin ng body, gustong ilabas ng wheat grass. Usually the first time. No? But after the second, third, hindi uh, na. Uh, Malaking dahilan sa paghina ng kalusugan ng tao ang bumababang antas ng nutrisyon dahil na rin sa maling pagkain. O aking bayan,